Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and thanks for voting uh, on my YouTube page where you chose the topic about how to get a job. So today we're going to talk about it. When I sit down and try to write the script for this video, I realized it's going to be super long. Super long. So I decided to split it on several parts and this video, today's video, is going to be about your CV because it's actually one of the most important things as it gives you a green light for further interviews. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in data analytics or data scientist topics, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, click like and continue this video up to the very end. Before we start, I should say that demand for data analysts and data analytics skills is surging. But if you are wondering how to become data analysts without no professional experience, first you need to do is to acquire proper data analytics skills. And this you can do by taking online courses, doing boot camps, or learning by yourself. It basically will take uh, just a few months, so it's not so complicated to do. By the way, if you're interested how to become data analyst, what you should know and what skills you should acquire, I also made some videos on my channel, here I'll put the links, so please also watch them. Let's move towards the process of getting a job. There are several steps that you should process before receiving a job offer. The first one is screening of your CV. Next is HR interviewing, then you have some logical or mathematical tests. And by the way, these two steps, like this one and previous one, can be in reversed order. Then you have technical interview and of course you will have the interview with your manager or your team. And the last one is job offer. I said before, today we're going to talk about CV. CV is not the hardest part of your job seeking process, but definitely one of the most important because it gives you the key, uh, the green light to further interviews. So as you know, CV or resume is detailed highlighting of your professional and educational background. Uh, it's a document about your career, skills, education, and qualifications. You can't apply uh, for any job without it. And what you should keep always in mind, this is your first step to job offer, as if your CV or resume will not be attractive enough or will not be suitable for a particular position, then you will not pass the first screening and you will not be invited to further interviews. So yeah, keep every time this in mind and of course please try to make your resume as attractive, as detailed as possible. To understand how to write CV or resume, you may find different examples on the internet, there are plenty of them, but today I also want to talk about it to structurize the information. And the first that I want to say is what you need to write in your CV. The first point is write a compelling data analyst profile or summary. Next, you should describe your data analytics experience and achievements. Of course, add your education, training, some courses and list relevant data analysis skills. So let's check some examples and figure out what to write in all these points. The first you need to do in your data analyst or data scientist interview is to mention your name, surname and desired position. Then there is a profile or a summary where you should describe that you're a highly motivated person, you're a responsible person who is striving to get this job. By the way, I also recommend you to include here your photo in that case, HR and you will have more closer contact. Uh, if you are wondering how to make your photos, it shouldn't be like professional one. Uh, you may just stand in front of uh, the white wall and take a picture without presence of any emotions. But also you may go to photoshops and do photo there. It's just standard photo uh, like for visas or etc. But yeah, sometimes it's better to smile a bit not be so serious as for visa photos. <laughs> also, you need to mention your contact details in your CV. So write the phone number, your email, your location, the city where you're based on. And by the way, if you're applying for a job, 
uh, not in your city and not in your country, it's better to write some details about this because some company is providing visa sponsorship or are in charge of your relocation process, but some companies not. So you need to check this point uh, before applying for the job and write the proper statement in your CV. For, for example, if you are live in Warsaw and you're applying for a job in Lisbon, yes, you're eligible to work in this country legally. Uh, you also need to write uh, this point eligible to work in Portugal, for example. So yeah, don't forget to mention some points like this because sometimes HR doesn't know your situation and maybe he or she thinks they need visa sponsorship but our company doesn't provide it, reject. In order to avoid such cases, just clarify everything for HR in this state. Next, of course, your education. Write your background, write your school, write a university, write a university degree, the location of your school at university. And of course, if you had a good GPA, make sure you wrote your GPA there. So give detailed information there. Of course, the most important chapter in your CV is work experience. Write your work history in a reverse chronological order. So start with the most relevant data analysis uh, or a data scientist experience is your most recent positions. In case you had an experience of working like data analyst or data scientist, you need to fully describe your work experience, your job responsibilities, what you did, what you achieved, like which technologies have you used. And don't forget to use accomplishment statement. Use accomplishment statements with a form of action word, task, result. Not just like build data visualization, but build data visualization of business KPIs using Python, uh, reducing manual reporting by 30 hours monthly. Like action verb, task and your result, what you have achieved. In case you have some work experience, but not in data analysis or data science, you also need to write this experience in your CV, but try to describe it in the way of data analysis. For example, you work as someone's assistant and you organize business trips. You don't need to write like organized business trips, but something, for example, researched and analyzed possible options of business trips and reduce travel expenses by 17%. You need to include something consists of analysis, show that you understand what is analyzing, searching, what is important for every company, also, one important thing, if you're applying for a particular job position, make sure you analyzed its description and included these keywords in these job descriptions into your resume. For example, you open job position and you see, uh -huh, here the employer is looking for someone who knows SQL. So you need to include this SQL keyword into your resume to show HR that you worked with this technology and you know how to deal with it. Yeah, and not to overhelm all this information, use bullet points to make this information readable. It will allow HR to see the key points. Next chapter of your resume is projects. Actually, is also one of the most important part of your resume, especially if you don't have relevant job experience. So here you need to describe everything you worked with in terms of data analysis and data science. Describe every detail. What was the purpose of this project? What steps it included? What tools did you use? Which Python library is applicable? And what were the results? What you have achieved? Examples of action words uh, solved, accelerated, enhanced, reduced, or advised. Make sure that you developed and completed some personal projects. And yeah, if you're doing it now, don't forget to carefully document and visualize everything uh, and store your code on G GitHub, for example, or other platforms, because you also will be able to put the link to your code, to your projects, while applying for the job. When you're applying for the job, you have not only the field for your CV to upload, but also there are some other fields where you're able to insert some other links to show your works, to show your projects, uh, your visualizations, for example. So yeah, make sure you're storing your code, adding this 
cling to your coat while applying for this job. It will definitely give you a plus. Even you don't have work experience in this field. Of course, of course, don't forget to mention your skills in your CV. Actually, HR manager likes some skills like analytical skills, mathematical skills, striving to solve problems, attention to details. This is really important. Communication skills. And of course, don't forget to include technical skills like what technology do you know? Cloudflare, oh, Python, SQL, Excel, Power BI, Tableau. Everything that you know, everything that you worked with, uh, put it there. Also, there are some additional chapters in your CV, like your hobbies or some volunteer project. Try to show that you're a responsible, proactive person. You will show that you are one of them. Okay, so the overall advices are be concise. Resume should be one page maximum. Please don't do several pages one page maximum. Imagine every HR receives dozens of CVs every day and he or she doesn't have enough time to properly read every statement of this CV. Save their time, save your time and do one page maximum. Use bullet points to stay organized. It's better not to write the full sentences with a description. Select simple but impactful uh, action word to describe your achievements. Quantify your success. As a data analyst or data scientist, you probably know the importance of numbers. Make sure you quantify your success. One more important point, edit and proofread. Don't forget about this because as you are as a data analyst or data scientist should be attentive to details. After completing a first draft of your resume, set aside and come back with a fresh pair of eyes. Of course, when you're applying for a job, as I told you, you have several more fields to complete. And one of these fields is cover letter or motivational letter, where you should explain why you chose this company, why you're a great candidate for this position. Try to be concise, include short information about about the company, why this company is attractive for you. I include some sentences about your educational background, about your work experience. Yeah, you may use the same statements as in your resume, but make it more in the form of essay. Um, and don't forget about your skills. Straight yourself as a goal-oriented, responsible person the, who is striving to get this job. You also are able to find different examples uh, of these letters uh, in the internet. Also, you may include other links, LinkedIn profile. If you don't have LinkedIn profile, you probably should get one. If you're interested in this topic, just write in the comments. I'll try to make the video on how to uh, fill your LinkedIn profile, how to find their jobs. Yeah, this is also an important thing if you are in business. Uh, there are many HRs who are looking for uh, the specialists for their companies. So this is a great platform to find the job. And one more link that you are always able to paste is the link or to your GitHub. So store your project somewhere. Oh, and I forget to mention, I will put some links down below which are useful or when you're preparing resume, then you will get uh, something from there or the structure. And also I forgot to mention that there are many websites with templates where you just need to insert the information and you don't need to make the design of it. It's super useful, uh, especially for your first resume. So you don't need to think how to design your resume, where to put contact info, where you set photo. You just upload everything on the website and you receive the ready CV. Okay guys, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel not to miss my next video about interview stating how to pass them, how to prepare. If this video was interesting for you, don't forget to click like and yeah, I will see you soon.